Do you know who helps in the development of secondary sexual characters during puberty? Yes, it's the hormones. That is what we've learned in the previous video. But do you know that hormones are not only involved in the development of secondary sexual characters, but also function to develop the reproductive organs? Yes, the primary function of the testosterone and the estrogen is to develop the reproductive organs. But have you ever wondered how do these work? Because they are produced at one side of an organ, while the location of their work is some different organ. In this video, let us have a look at how these hormones work. Firstly, do we know what these organs producing various hormones are called? They are known as the glands. Many of the glands in our body are endocrine glands, just like the testes and the ovaries. Wait a second, what are endocrine glands? Let me explain. We know that glands produce chemicals which are meant to work at distant places in the body. So the major classification of glands is carried out on the basis of the release of the chemicals secreted. So the question we have to ask is whether the glands secrete the chemicals directly into the bloodstream or require a duct or channel to do so. This fact classifies them as endocrine and exocrine glands respectively. Endocrine means directly into the bloodstream, while exocrine ones require a duct. So are we saying that the testes and the ovaries are endocrine? Do they not require ducts for secreting the hormones? No, they don't. They secrete the hormones directly into the bloodstream. Now let us get back to know how these hormones work. Who is the master of all glands in the body? We know it is the pituitary gland. So in order to make the other glands work, it has to release signals and these signals are also in the form of chemicals. Now once the glands like in this case testes and ovaries receive the signals from the pituitary, they get stimulated. And what will this result in? That's correct. It makes the testes secrete testosterone and the ovaries secrete estrogen. Now these sex hormones are directly poured into the bloodstream. Can you tell me why? Of course, it is because these two are endocrine glands. The bloodstream carries these hormones to the target organs. And what do we mean by the target organs? Well, these are the sites where the necessary activity is performed. It's the site where the hormones carry out their effect. So is this how the hormones work in our body? Exactly. Let's quickly recap the process in short. This master endocrine gland secretes hormones that will go and target the various other glands in the body. In this case, we are referring to the testes and the ovaries in males and females respectively. On stimulation, these gonads will secrete hormones like the testosterone in males and the estrogen in females. And what will this result in? Testosterone targets the various sites in a male body to help in the development of secondary sexual characters in him. Similarly, the development of various secondary sexual characters in a female are the responsibilities of the estrogen. This is how the onset of puberty brings various changes in the individual. However, we know that in a human body, there are several other hormones besides the sex hormones and they play extremely vital functions. Do you want to know about them? Do watch our next video to know more.